for starters, on instruction, in the instructions for questions one through eight, it says find the area in perimeter for each. Do me a favor and cancel out perimeter. I'm just gonna ask you guys for the area. I had the instructions there because I know I covered perimeter because the reason why I covered perimeter was for the project that we did with the fence around the park thing that we did on, on Monday. That's why I covered perimeter, but for the quiz, I'm not gonna ask you for perimeter. Now looking at question number one, looking at a triangle, I know for the area of a triangle, I have to go one half. You know, the half because it's a half of a rectangle. And the two numbers that I multiply on the rectangle are going to be the two numbers across the 90 degrees. I see my 90 degrees there. They're, it's made by the numbers 5.3 and 5.7. So let me go 5.3 and 5.7. So I have to go one half times 5.3 times 5.7. Just multiply those three numbers. 15.1? Okay. 15.1. The, the dotted line, if you remember the 90 degrees will be either inside a triangle, outside a triangle, at the corner of a triangle, but the 90 degrees is for the, the two numbers I have to multiply. The little dotted line, in my case red, the dotted line, I know 5.7 ends at this corner, right? That's 5.7. The dotted line is if we were to extend it, you know, we extend the, the segment for us to see the 90 degree symbol. It's not that we're making 5.7 larger, we're just going through the line, we're just extending the segment just to see where it will cross the 90 degrees. We're not changing the message. So just multiply those two numbers and the half for the triangle. Now for a rectangle, looking at question number five, for a rectangle, I see my numbers 5.2 and 11.3. Just multiply those out, 5.2, 11.3. This one does not have a half because it's not a triangle. So 5.2 times 11.3. 58.8, okay. so 58.8. I'm not gonna be that picky on the measurement, you know, miles squared. I'm worried more about the number. But remember the triangles do have a half because a triangle is half of a rectangle. The rectangles do not have the half. So any questions for the first eight? So looking at question number nine, we have areas of circles. Just find the area of each. Use your calculator's value of pi. For those of you that for estimating pi is about 3.14, right? If you press it on your calculator, it gives you a longer version. Round your answer to the nearest tenth. So one decimal place. So since the radius of the circle is 7.2 for the area. I'm going to go 7.2 squared, so 7.2 times 7.2, times pi, which in my case, I have it as 3.14. And I'm using pi as a decimal because I see the word round. Round to nearest thumb. 22.6, thank you. 22.6. Uh, did you do 7.2 squared? 162.7. Oh, okay. Okay. So 162.8. Okay, thank you. So remember, we go radius squared times a decimal for pi. So once again, we're using a decimal for pi because it says round your answer to such and such thing. So any questions on the front? No? Okay, now on the back, question number 13, area of regular polygons. Just find the area of each regular polygon, run your answer to the nearest tenth if necessary. Give you guys a formula as one half times the perimeter times the aperture. That was the formula we, we covered for the for the calculator, one half is 0 0.5.
the perimeter, one of the sides is 9.6. There's seven sides. So the perimeter will be 9.6 times 7. And so I know one side is 9.6. There are seven sides. So that's why I said the perimeter is 9.6 times 7. Now for the asymptote, it's 10. Remember, not the radius, because the radius is from the center to a corner. So it's not the radius, it's the apothem. Just multiply those out. What is it? 336, no decimals? All right, cool. 336. So any questions up until 18? Yes. Well, don't divide by 0.5, just multiply by Because yeah. dividing by 0.5 is the same thing as times 2. Yeah, got it. Yeah. All right, so any questions up until 18? All right, now looking at question number 19, find the area of each sector. Notice how in the instruction, I'm not saying round it to the nearest such and such. So leave pi as a pi. Don't, don't do pi as a decimal because the instruction doesn't say round it to such and such. So the area of the, the circle to begin with, I know the radius is 6. So the area of the circle is 36 pi over 1. All right, I'm going to write it as a fraction. You keep in mind I'm keeping pi as a pi, not as a decimal. And I'm gonna run. I'm gonna multiply this by how much of the circle we have. We have 120 out of 360 degrees. If you have a calculator, the the fraction just multiply the fraction. I said many calculators deal with fractions, not all of them. If you're doing your homework from the, your phone, those don't do fractions. But since tomorrow in the quiz you don't bring your phone, that one might. If you have a doubt, I can look at it and I can show you. All right, so in my case, let me simplify. 120 over 360, let me call that 1 over 3. And I'm, I simplify, divided each by 120. Diagonal, 36 and 3, I can simplify that as well. Let me divide each by 3, so I'm going to get 12 and 1. Now when I multiply straight, on the top I have 12 pi times 1. So on the top I have 12 pi. At the bottom I have 1 times 1, so 12 pi over 1. I know 12 over 1 can be simplified by just 12 pi. I'm going to take either or, will be correct. If you guys are comfortable with the over 1, La just leave it with the over 1. I'm, I'm okay with it. If you guys simplify to 12, I'm okay with it. So like I said, either or, I will consider it correct. So leave pi in there. Don't, don't do it as a decimal. Any questions on the review? Easy? Take your way, thanks.